What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. We've got some new news from the Twitterverse, implying that Tesla's on the cusp of a major update to its autopilot self-driving software. I think this has um, huge implications. If you own a Tesla, get pumped because your Tesla, um, if you have the full self-driving package, is going to have a ton more features on the way. Additionally, from a financial business perspective, I think this is one of the most important storylines for Tesla, the Apple of the automotive world, selling computer on wheels. Can they monetize that software layer um, in their cars? A huge piece of that is cars driving themselves and this rapid improvement and iteration we've seen in Tesla's self-driving software. Um, I think that the most anticipated update um, that people have all been waiting for is reading stop signs and stoplights, um, essentially navigate on autopilot for city streets. Right now, the Tesla does a really good job at driving itself on the highway, changing lanes, navigate on autopilot. Um, it can go on ramps, off ramps, uh, get you off the highway. Um, but once you get into the city streets, you know, arterials, um, inner city urban driving, um, to autopilot really doesn't work or isn't supposed to be used for those situations. But now as they get more miles, more data, as the system improves, um, Tesla is going to start to roll out features to allow you to use autopilot within city streets. I think this is going to be a game changer. And we got news from that this week in the Twitterverse with out of spec monitoring, um, tweeting that, uh, showing this little Twitter video about his Tesla stopping at a red light on autopilot. The third row podcast then tweeted the next autopilot update will stop for red lights and stop signs automatically with a screenshot of his video and that text on the screen there saying stopping for traffic control in 300 feet. Elon Musk just just retweeted that. And so it looks like we're on the cusp. And this guy who um, had this feature and took this video as part of the early access program, this sort of uh, group of beta users that Tesla uses, uh, who are just a handful of customers to roll out their software versions early, allow, allow them to test them um, before they really send them out to their whole fleet. So the fact that we already have this customer um, saying they have this and it's in the wild is pretty crazy. It means Tesla's testing it and it means it could be coming to all customers very, very soon. Tesla's cars um, aren't full self-driving yet, but that does doesn't mean their self-driving software isn't greatly improving the customer experience. Autopilot on the highway, you know, makes it way less stressful to drive on the highway. It'll change lanes for you. Um, it just takes that mental burden of driving down significantly, although you do have to pay attention and the car's not totally driving itself. Um, you know, the amount of energy you need for driving, the amount of stress that driving requires um, is greatly reduced. Therefore, the customer experience is dramatically improved. I think the, the Autopilot for City Streets is going to do the same thing. It's going to take that, you know, customer happiness and satisfaction of people owning a Tesla to a whole new level. Additionally, I think everybody's going to want to show their friends. I mean, your Tesla's driving itself um, on the city streets, not on the highway, um, turning, stopping at stop lines, accelerating when the light turns green. I mean, I think these are the kind of wow in the wild features that are going to get uh, people really, really excited about Tesla's software. And so what, what, what I think this ties into the financial situation and what's so different about Tesla is as they roll out more and more of these full self-driving features, they increase the price and more and more of Tesla's cars um, become software versus hardware. And if you know much about business or, or the financial financial situation for Tesla, they're making way more money on the software component than the hardware component. And this is the sort of new type of, of, of revenue model for an automaker that we've never seen before that justifies and, and why, you know, a lot of Wall Street analysts and traditional fin financial market people are bamboozled when they look at Tesla because they don't understand this computer software component and how that could add a significant layer of profitability that justifies a much higher price sales or price uh, per car sold valuation for Tesla relative to every other automaker. But as you can see over over time, um, this is just some data I've gathered from the internet from US prices over time. They've raised the FSD price from the start of 2019 from 5,000 to 6,000 in May to 7,000 where it is today. And my guess is once they roll out Navigate on Autopilot for city streets or this new city street um, stoplight feature functionality, they're going to be able to justify another price range. And if you think about it, you know, Tesla's uh, gross margin right now as a company is about 18, 19%. Let's just call it 20% for those car businesses. They're selling a car for 50 grand on average. Average, they collect about 10 grand in gross profit. I mean, that fully self-driving uh, package right now is could go up from seven eight grand to eight grand. So even though it sounds like a small uh, piece of the overall weight of the car, that extra $1,000 in profit that Tesla can make from this new software package could be a meaningful driver of increasing profitability for the company. I mean, these automotive companies are very low margin. So any way Tesla can get, you know, $1,000 in profit incrementally out of each car goes a huge way towards impacting their bottom line. And so um, I think, you know, at, in all the Tesla news that's going on right now, we've got the Model Y launching, we've got them building ventilators, we've got the factory being shut down. You know, amidst all of that, Elon Musk, a couple months ago on the Third Row podcast, said they were in the, in the process of doing a major foundational rewrite of Autopilot that would sort of, you know, 
know, kind of delay, um, then launching a lot of features because originally Elon Musk had said by the end of 2019, they wanted to have feature complete uh, full self-driving, which is essentially what we're talking about. The car can drive itself on city streets, um, but that didn't happen. They only released more visualizations. Then on, you know, early January, he comes on the third row podcast and says, we're doing this major uh, foundational rewrite. It's going to take a while before we can get this in the wild, but it's important. It will make the system way, way better once it's done. And it looks like Fast forward two or three months, they are finishing up that update. They've started pushing it out to early access program customers, and we are about to get a huge new incremental uh, update overall for the autopilot system, um, and it's going to allow you to drive on city streets. So I think this is so, so exciting. Um, you know, I, I, Tesla, I've said this before and uh, again and again, I think it's the only company with a true, you know, strategy to get us to uh, L5 autonomy, the way they iterate with, you know, a million cars in the wild, getting all this billion miles of customer data, refining their algorithms, pushing out updates to the fleet, learning from those updates, constantly iterating. This entire feedback loop has been going on for years now and is just accelerating and it's getting better and better. And I think the most overlooked thing is Tesla can make billions of dollars on its self-driving vehicle technology without ever having an autonomous car because these incremental improvements in functionality are all incremental margin that the company is capturing today. And I think that's super, super exciting and a piece of the financial story of Tesla that's going to come to light over these next couple quarters as they roll out this uh, Navigate on Autopilot for city streets. So anyway, I'm going to be following this super, super closely. Um, if Tesla actually, like when they officially announced this, all that kind of stuff, I will make sure to keep you posted here on the channel. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, you know, what, what are your estimates for how Tesla will raise their autopilot pricing? When do you think this feature will actually launch to uh, all customers? Anyway, this is HyperChange. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.